Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval, and this is the Solo Negocios video blog with the summary of the Solo Negocios bulletin for today, July 23, 2018. Today we will talk about the different uh, economic and financial indicators, but we will talk about a proposal made by Mr. López Obrador, the president that will be taking oath on December the 1st, 2018, uh, through a letter that he sent to Donald Trump as president of the United States, willing to show his appreciation for uh, the meeting that he had with uh, U.S. officers a couple of weeks ago, and also through the mentions of Mr. Marcelo Ebrard, who will be one of his leading partners in the, in the government uh, to take uh, power next December. And well, basically, these are important elements specifically to the border with the U.S., to the northern border. Uh, even when he doesn't even mention the, the wall that uh, Donald Trump has been willing to build, well, what he mentions is to create a free zone, uh, a free area of several taxes or a diminishing of those taxes or certain taxes, which will imply the creation of a very strong economic area that will inhibit people from going to the, to the U.S., at least in the terms of, of migrating for leaving and looking for jobs as one of the criticisms of Donald Trump to his own legal system and what happens with uh, southern countries in the US. Basically, he is mentioning the following points which we'll be addressing in the following days to explain from our point of view what are they meaning because they imply positive elements but could, uh, de depending on rules, on application rules, could imply situations that will not necessarily be good or at least could imply risks and costs. So we will talk about those specifically in the following days. But for the moment, we will talk about in general terms. One of the main measures is a free zone in the terms of uh, customs. He is telling that we will move customs from the border to 30 kilometers southbound. This will imply at least uh, without knowing specifically the, the project, at least that we won't have any import export taxes in this region towards the north. But we will have those towards south, or at least in certain measure through regulations and, and, and other type of govern, government activities. So this uh, is a good thing in terms of commerce, could imply a good thing, could bring implications to maquiladoras, because the, the program, the, the license, the federal license that is provided to a maquiladora, basically allows them to import uh, uh, the goods temporarily to be reproduced or, or manufactured and then take them out. But if there won't be any taxes in the region, maybe for that matter they will need that permit, maybe for other elements that are important for maquiladoras. Mm -hmm. But we have to analyze and understand what they're implying by moving the custom southbound. Now, uh, also, he mentioned to diminish the value-added tax that we have in Mexico. VAT is a tax that is charged for every operations on all value chains. And even when it's not homogeneous on all activities in Mexico, it, it, the trend was that one, at least from the point of view and, and, the fiscal re and the tax reform that was made by Peña Nieto, the current president, back in 2014, when he raised to the borders the tax to 16%. Mr. Lopez Obrador is talking about a, de a decrease almost of half of this tax or around half of this tax to this border, but it will need to analyze which is the sales tax in the U.S., in the sister city for each uh, city in the border of Mexico, to put the same uh, percentage. For example, in Texas is 8.25%, so we will have in Juarez 8.25% of value added tax, but it's a different tax. Sales tax is a tax that is only applicable or it only applies to the final consumer on the final moment of consumption. In terms of value added tax, it applies to all the value chains. So it has different elements there. Also, he mentioned that he will diminish the income tax uh, in general in the world to 20%. Currently, we have the sole proprietorship tax, which will be the same type of regime in the US, which is for individual, individual tax. Uh, from 35, which is the top tax, uh, although we have a, a series of breaks in the middle, given income, 
it will be down to 20%. And given that they mentioned it was general, the, de the decrease, well, it implies that the, the taxes for companies or any type of uh, legal entity like SA, S, SAs or anonymous societies, which are like corporations in the US, will decrease from 30% to 20%. Those are fixed taxes. If that is, that is true, well, it implies savings for these companies. But we'll see, and given the criticism that has been created with the tax reform in the US uh, on Donald Trump's uh, tax reform, well, we will have to see if those savings are reinvested in Mexico or not. Also, he's mentioning to increase the minimum wage from 88.36 pesos per day to the double, around 196 pesos per day. But this needs to be revised or at least analyzed how it will work because we don't know if they want only the minimum tax, the minimum wage, which is the most rational perspective, or it will imply the multiplications of those in, 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 uh, earning more money. And in, in general terms, the maquiladora, for example, pays around 140 to 160 pesos per day, which is a low wage. But if, if this goes to 196, the least uh, or the minimum wage to be paid, then those wages will increase in that amount, like 46 or 36 pesos, uh, but not necessarily increase like in a proportion, you know? So we'll have to see that. And finally, but not least, he's mentioning about a strong investment in the region, infrastructure investment, social investment, which in, is implied that will be public investment. So we will have to see how it comes, what is implied, and how it will provoke, like, I don't know, uh, economic uh, flows in, in, positive ter in positive terms, but also in inflationary terms that could uh, occur in the region. We'll have to, to analyze deeply. We have very few information right now. They just launched the general and substantive elements of the, of the changes, but we'll have to see if this has uh, some sort of rational uh, positive results, forecast, and if there are negative elements, well, through business organizations, we'll have to put pressure to lobby uh, improvements for the region and not only the launching the, the great news without analyzing the implications for them and at least be aware of those implications. This is what we have for information today. We will discuss deeply these elements from tomorrow and so on. Thank you very much for your attention.